Hi, my name is Chris. Welcome in the second part of making a closed loop stepper motor. In the previous video, we connected the rotary encoder with the motor. Today, I'm gonna hook it all up and write some code for it. The first thing I do is test to see if the rotary encoder is working correctly, and that all seems fine. I'm also gonna use an Arduino DUE to control everything. So I have to make sure that the rotary encoder is working with 3.3 volts. Now I was ready to wire everything together. So here you can see the test setup. I got the rotary encoder connected to the motor. Got my Arduino DUE, my stepper motor driver, my power supply and my computer. I use a Lichai and MicroStep driver, but for a smaller motor you can also use an easy driver or something like that. And now with the setup done, I was finally ready to write some code. I'm not going to go completely through the code, but I'm gonna try to explain the basic things that I did. The first thing I made was a class uh, so I could control the speed of the stepper motor. The control of the position is now done by the encoder, so I don't count the steps anymore. I check for my error between the current position and the target position. And that error multiplied by a factor is actually my target speed. Then I make sure if the speed change between the current speed and the target speed isn't bigger than the maximum acceleration. And then I assign the speed to the stepper motor. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to do this, but it seems to work for me. I also made a small computer program so I could control the Arduino. This way I can change the rotation with my computer and also fine tune the parameters of the controller. Now that everything is done, it's time to test it out. Here you see me adjusting the parameters to get a nice result. I don't want it too slow, but I also don't want too much overshoot. It takes a while to find the correct settings. But when it's done, you have a stepper motor who can update very fast and very precise. You can find the code I used on GitHub, I'll put in a link below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. The reason why I made this closed loop stepper motor will become clear in the next video. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.